here's one week basically now each one of these are run or kind of sorta yeah five six hours yeah five six hours on each one and clean out of a uh, the monster hog everyone and that's the cons out of each one of the monster hog clean outs now he figures he had a hot day so one of these buckets is going to be a real hot bucket they're thinking it's going to be one of these two right here <clears throat> so on if I'm going to run that much material, I want to go ahead and put the capture mat in here. Now when I'm running the washer mat, I'm running up there at about 11, 12, almost 13 degrees, somewhere around there. But uh, since I'm going to run the capture mat and run all that material, I've toned it down to 9 degrees. All the water bubbles are starting to gone away. And I'll probably change it one more time if there's not enough material building up and staying. Black sand building up and staying in this one section right here of downdraft. <laughs> then I, you know... As soon as that stays, then the rest of them will stay active, but I'll capture everything first in this one here out of those seven buckets. That's the idea, hypothetically. I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but look at that. The monster hog. There's gold floating right down at the bottom of that bucket. Look at that line. <laughs> this is only bucket number two. <laughs> out of seven well we started at ten <clears throat> and it was too much so I dropped it down to five but now I'm starting to get too much of a buildup in behind here some of the bigger rocks are starting to stick into this downdraft uh, so I'm gonna bring it up from six actually it's six right now I'm gonna bring it up to seven I do not have the choke tube in it, but the regular pump, we're building up. I want to go ahead and exchange just a little bit better. I mean, as you can see the leads and the gold. There's a little bit of black sand, but it was too much and it's taken way too long to clear out. So I got a feeling I need to come up just a tiny bit more. I'm going to seven degrees. Okay, here's seven degrees. It looks quite a bit more reasonable. We're getting a lot of gold build up in there at the top of this. Exactly what we wanted to see. To show you the efficiency of Talon Mat, becoming rapidly becoming one of my more favorite mats is Talon. Then again, I love Scrubber too. I like them all. And here is what it's starting to look like after bucket number four. You know, you got a good problem when the get the gold starts to get so heavy, it starts kicking the lead out of the holes. <laughs> we got a terrible problem. The dominator is kicking the lead out because he's got too much gold. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking looks sweet, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's not reaching that. Oh, I guess it is a little A bit. little tiny bit, not much. A little bit down there. Not much. It always collects it, but that's the ultra. I mean, there ain't nothing in those glue joints. That's oh. that's the minus two hundred stuff. This feels like a good bucket. Ooh, here comes the money! Here comes the money! The dominate hard times, I tell you, dominating the hard times. What he's doing? <laughs> Ooh, that's some black stuff. That one's black. I don't have near as much of the red oxides in that one. And here, there was bucket number five. He just put bucket number five done, and there was a line of gold coming out of the bucket into the matting. You would not believe it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm oh, missing, missing it. There it is. It. Right there at the end of it. Look at that up there still. I don't want to come out. Too much of it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look what number six did. Boy, it really pushed it up even higher. Number six was a good bucket. <laughs> Alright, last bucket. Come on, see it. Oh, there's a little bit. There it is. You got gold in there. Oh, I see it. Here I it comes. There. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's got too much in there. This was supposed to be your, this was today's but maybe. Yeah, what was in there? Not. I'm ready to uh, <coughs> shut this down and I'll clean this out into a gold pan and then I'm going to have to clean the entire water. Now there's about seven gallons of water either I'm almost to the top of the bin so and then every bit of tailings that are down in here that's raised the water up so high I'll keep put into one bucket and I'll try to rerun it and that way we'll see what kind of losses happen from the capture map. I'm probably not going to do that today, though. We're we're interested in today's gold, which, uh, by the way, oh look at that, is pretty dang impressive. Again, tip it backwards so the water don't do go all over your sluice box. Oh, there's a nail, a copper nail, and a big rock couple of them look at that wow. look at all the lead shot there's a lot of lead shot in there so we're hoping for two ounces we're hoping for two ounces a little over two ounces would be awesome but Oh. All the way to the bottom again. Oh yeah. You're definitely okay. look at the gold. My goodness. <laughs> it's still floating now. Let's go ahead and turn it off. There's just too much in there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty. Man, I can't believe I missed pouring it out of the bucket. Dang it. I got video or picture footage, but dang it. Go the lid. My goodness. Ah, wow. Oh, well, look at that gold pan. And a stupid amount of lead. <laughs> I don't know if this camera's going to pick it up, but there's a piece. That's one of the largest pieces I've seen in a while. It's going to want to float away because it's super thin. Look at that piece of gold. I wonder if it show up. I hope it shows up on that camera. Alright, here we go. Well, Ray's losing his touch. There's a lot of black sand left in that gold pan. There's a lot of gold in that gold pan, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. We're going to go ahead and put that in the gold dryer and see what it weighs. Back in a second. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll let it out later. Up there. Right about there.
<laughs> All right, come on, let's see. We're going to have over two, or we're going to have over two. It was, one already went down. Yeah, buddy, we're over two. Yeah. Ha! And then plus 80.01 grains. I'll figure out the math here in a second. Ha! Two ounces and 80 grains. There's the fruits of Shevlin. Actually, Hydroforcing. Oh, yeah. Over two ounces. <laughs> 